Hi guys, this is Friday Biology and welcome back to Concealed Intent. Now we are going to be playing with the dev and I'm probably going to dive rather quickly but it'll be fine. Uh, we first have to theoretically pick Corvette. Actually, what is good defensive stuff, man? Defensive? Yeah. Um, if you want to be able to stay a long way from your enemy, yep. then uh, the heavy beam is quite good. Heavy beam. Um, that's the longest range weapon. If you want to uh, basically tank it, then uh, shields and a repairer. If you think that there are going to be uh, a lot of enemies, like a lot of drones attacking you, then shields are very handy, especially if you can keep them at long range. Uh -huh. um, if you think that there's going to be, you're going to be able to do hit and run tactics, then a repairer is quite uh, is quite handy. Uh -huh. So the, the difference between them is the uh, the shields take off uh, one point of the per shield, one point of damage uh, from each hit you take. And but the and the repairer will heal essentially one point of hull per turn per repairer, but there is there is there is stacking penalties with both of those. Oh, so I think you can have three repairers before the penalties start kicking in, and you can have two shields before the penalties start kicking in. Okay. Uh, uh, let me just accept your uh, request. So shall I play the uh, the default Corvette? Um, go with whatever you want, actually, man. Uh, if I get owned, that's okay. Because okay. you, you kind of want to be even anyway. Oh. Yeah, I think a big part of the game is actually being able to, uh, you know, is the, is the sort of interplay on what you choose to, to load out. Yeah. Han, I've got a dog for a minute. And we're back. Bloody hell. Okay, so I've pressed and it's waiting for opponent to load out. That's you yep. currently. That's me. I'm currently sitting in the thing, uh, in the loadout screen, and I'm going to make my ship red because presumably I'm the baddie. <laughs> Do you realize I went red as well? Sorry? We won't be able to tell each other's ones apart. I, I went red as well. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, then I'll go. Uh, I'll it go doesn't red. matter, man. It'll be fine. <laughs> it, it doesn't. I think mine starts off green anyway. Or can you actually see the ships? Oh, when when you fully identify a ship, you'll be able to um, you'll be able to see its colour. Ah, I, I've never actually got that far. It's normally kind of oh crap, and then death and destruction. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. So I'm. Uh, you should have seen me. Uh, accept your request. Mm -hmm. and you're going. Yeah, I'm going. Um. <laughs> so we are. Uh, we're in the uh, asteroid field map. Yes. Ah, maybe you're hiding somewhere. Okay. How do I cancel my pathing? Actually. Delete. Uh, delete. Pan. Uh, backspace. Oh yes, backspace. Are you on a PC? Yep. Uh, well, laptop, but it's a yeah. happy laptop. Windows. It's fine. Uh, go. You're on Windows 10, aren't you? Uh, I'm on... Yes. Uh, no. Okay. No, no. Uh, oh. it's... I had to go back. Oh. Uh, yeah. It, some of my software didn't work, so it was kind of like, yeah, no, I can't be bothered. Uh, worried now. <laughs> So do you think you'll get larger multiplayer? Uh, multiplayer, so like four, like one on one kind of, but four players or something or not? Uh, there, are, there are a lot of things I could do with uh, online multiplayer. But um, when I went into early access and I asked people what they wanted in the game, yeah, um, I think I think you were the only person who said they wanted more multiplayer. <laughs> Uh, most most people uh, wanted to be able to play single player and wanted more and more details in the skirmish. I don't know if you you remember from when you when you first got the game. I don't know if the oh sorry I just I just did action so I see what's going on. That's okay. Um, 
uh, for, for, the, for the viewers, um, Friday Biology was one of the first people to see the game when it came into early access. So I don't know if you remember that uh, back then, skirmish was much, much simpler. There were only three options, your ship, their ship, and the map. Hmm. And, now, and now there's a lot more, and that was as a result of people in early access saying, when you me asking, what do you want in early access? More camp, <laughs> more skirmish, more online, and uh, almost everyone said more skirmish. Yeah, awesome. Uh, <laughs> That's where the effort's effort been going. So I'm not sure. I mean, there are lots of things I could do, but I'm not sure that. Uh, How it go? Yeah, people don't seem to. People don't seem to uh, do it that uh, do that often. So I'm waiting, so... Oh, yeah, sorry, I was too busy talking. Oh, no, it's okay. Um, okay, there you go. Quick V is... I'm just trying to figure out what you've been doing. Yes. Oh, that's the trick to the game. Anticipation and planning. Okay. So, I've, I've forgotten, when we originally uh, talked about doing this a couple of months ago, yeah. there, was a, there was a forfeit. If I lose, I have to do something, don't I? I have no idea. Um, <laughs> to feign ignorance, because there, there could be possibilities that I may lose. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I, I think it was if you if you lose, that's that's okay. If oh. I lose, I have to do something. Oh no, I can't remember, man. <laughs> um, okay. Just trying to figure out. I should have brought one of those damn little droney things. This is I'm. <sighs> I'm a little confused, actually. I thought I knew where you were, but um, now I'm not so sure. Okay. Yeah, I'll, turn my, I'll, t I'll turn my sound off so you don't hear that on the um, you don't hear that on the recording. Um, well, I, I'm just getting your voice, actually. It's quite oh, okay. Decent. I'm looking at three purple dot, uh, three pale dots, wondering what the hell is going on. Yeah, well, I'm looking at three pale dots as well, and I thought I knew which one was you, but then, <laughs> but now I'm not so sure because one of them, one of them did something I wasn't expecting. Uh, how would I disappear my little dot though? Uh, if you get your well, uh, if you're playing, if you get your point. signature yeah. down so low that I can't uh, detect you, then you will disappear normally quite quickly. So there, there are two ways to do that. Uh, one is to set, get your current signature down to zero. Yep. Or two, be far enough away that um, your higher signature, your greater than, greater than zero signature, is actually reduced to zero once you take the range into account. If you want to, to work that out, what you can do is if you just hover your mouse over the sensors, You'll see a little graph come up. Oh, Han, uh, wrong sensors then. Uh, whereabouts are sensors? Uh, so if you go into uh, the stats panel, so if, you're, if you've got your ship selected, the Corvette, in, assuming you chose the sum, I hope you did, a like pilot on or standard on me? Uh, yeah. Yep, hold oh, your mouse okay. there, and a little graph will pop up. That's kind of cool. Yep. Yeah, this this is actually something that would have been added since the last time you played, probably. Yeah. <laughs> so what that tells you is how sensitive your your sensors are. So what you can do is if you multiply that sensitivity on the left by my noise at by my signature at the range. So if, so for instance, if you're looking at the powered omni, and I'm at four thousand kilometers, and my noise is twenty, which is quite normal for a Corvette then it would be 0.2 times 20, which means that you would gain 4% detection on me every turn. But if I was at, for instance, 7,000 kilometers, You're out. then I would disappear from your senses because my, my noise is now zero. Aha. Uh -huh. so my my, my so signature is at zero at your distance. So skirting would be a bad idea. Skirting? Uh, yeah. Uh, skirting an enemy, just trying to get around behind something, would be very. Oh, silly. you'd have to get a. You have to be, be silent. Uh, you have to. So, signature used to be called noise. So I keep saying um, noisy rather than high signature. Um, yeah, you'd have to either keep your 
keep your signature low or skirt around at a at quite at a, at a good range. Yeah. Or the other way to do it is to have you and a drone skirting around in opposite directions. So in, and then at long range, you'll probably both be spheres and you won't know which is which. And it obviously makes a big difference which one you pick. Though you end up with having four or five spheres and you just attack them in one. Yeah. Um, do you want to press your waiting thing, Rob? I'm guessing you're done, right? Oh, yeah, sorry. I was too busy talking again. I have I've uh, not clicked it. That's okay. Um, I, don't, I like... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think we'll just trade at drones. Um, uh, I haven't seen anything blow up. What's a station, though? Oh, that's a... Right. That's <clears throat> in the early versions of this uh, of the online games. Two people who were both playing stealth strategies uh, could never meet each other. They just fly around and uh, never see each other. So to avoid that, I've added this station. And what happens is that there are two ways to win. Mm -hmm. One is uh, to destroy your opponent, and two is that if you destroy the station, or after I think 10 turns it destroys itself, uh, it will drop a pod, and if you hold that pod for 5 turns, then that will, um, that will also win you the game. The problem is that the pod will massively increase your noise, your, your signature, so it's impossible to hide when you've got the pod, pretty much. Uh, and the idea of that is it provides a focus, so if you can't find the other player because everyone's hiding, yeah. Then there's still going to be some action because you've got to stay close to the station. And so I theoretically have a station as well, or we both have the same station. We're both competing on the same station. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I'd never noticed that at all. Okay. Now, now we're. <laughs> Ah, oh, bugger. <laughs> okay. Okay, you go that way. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? So, okay. um, and the other thing, um, you know that if you destroy someone's ship, their their drones stop fighting, right? No, uh, that would be. Well, actually, no, I don't know which ship you are at the moment, anyway. Uh, I do like these rocks, though. Yep, and you can hide behind them. <coughs> Uh, did you make them yourself, or are they just objects borrowed from somewhere? They're, they're, yeah, they're from an asset pack. So the asteroids are from one asset pack, and the um, planets are from another. Yeah. The stars, they're pretty much... Well, they, they started... Where is it? Where's the star so I can look at it? Yeah. The thing. stars started as from an asset pack, but I've changed them so much, I think I can claim them as my own now. Uh, and the backgrounds I did myself. Andy. Oh, this little blue star's below as well. It's kind of cool. Oh, action. Bloody hell. Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, so you're both, a painful bugger. We both had the same idea there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. <coughs> oh, bugger. Okay. Out of range. Uh, I'm going to do something a little, it may seem a little stupid <laughs> because I'm not sure what you're going to do, so I have to uh, belt and brace this time. Aha. Uh -huh.
Oh, did I? Did I get one of yours? Yeah. yeah. Yes, I did get one of the drones. Oh, we traded drones. Hmm. Is it making you think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking this would be brilliant with 10 friends. Yeah, there's no, um, there's no real restriction in the, in the server code mm. that prevents it. it, it you, you can have multiple players. And it's, it's something for me to worth consider, actually, for the, for the 1.1 the 1. 1 update. Though I think first, uh, on the online side, the first thing I'm going to do is get, try and get Steam turn notifications working. Oh, yes. The alerts, you mean? Yeah. Oh, the yeah. uh, there's no there's the documentation on the on the Steam on the Steam website. I mean the documentation, I, is, all IT documentation is bad. Um, but on Steam, most of their online stuff, uh, they provide uh, example code, so you can actually work with the example code. Oh, interesting. You've gone for the usurper. Um, How can you actually tell that? Uh, because the uh, the well, the usurper or, or a jammer, one or the other, they both have the same graphics. Ah, okay. If you have a pulse, it like shoots a little beam, so you can't tell whether it's a small, medium, or heavy pulse, and you can't tell whether it's a small, medium, or heavy beam, because they use the same graphics. Uh -huh. But the and so, and the jammer and the usurper use the same graphics as well. So the idea is you know a little bit about them when they use their stuff, but not exactly. Yeah. Uh, that you could spam a heap of uh, heavy drones and have beam weapon kind of thing and then just come in and full front of them. Yeah. It's a little bit more complex than you'd think, actually, isn't it? Uh, I'd like to think so. Oh, I, I wanted something that... Um, uh, I wanted something that people could, uh, you know, they, they wouldn't just master it in seconds. Mm. Uh, so, where are you yeah. going? <clears throat> oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, now we're not sure about each other anymore. Ah, it'll be alright. All I want to know is where your other drones are. Um, <laughs> you did kill them. Um, I killed one of them? Yeah. You've got, I'm pretty sure you've got two, haven't you? Possibly. <laughs> Same point. How far away are you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, have, you have to play a bit quiet. I mean, um, the loadout, if you know the opponent's loadout, it makes a huge difference to how, uh, how easy or hard the game is. Do I have to be behind a rock or within the rocks themselves to hide? Oh, you, you can't win, you can't move within the rocks. It shouldn't let you. Uh -huh. uh, and they'll block your movement if you try to uh, uh, move through them. Uh, what you need to do is be basically remove line of sight. If you can remove line of sight between um, me and all my uh, all my ships between you and all my ships then then that will do it which oh, ah it's 
being painful. Oh. What's what's the problem? Uh, going around rocks. <laughs> oh. Yes. So my connection dropped, did yours? Uh, no. I'm still connected. Handy. Oh, uh... You should be able to just go back and go back in again, if you need to. Yeah, I... I... The, the, it's, the online stuff is designed so that you can play over days or, or weeks if you want. Yeah. Sudden realization that my drone here doesn't have much health. <laughs> Kind of a dick move, but we'll do it anyway. <laughs> How do we collect these data cores from the station? Actually, do I just have uh, to fly to the station and hang around it for a period of time, or you just you should destroy the station, mm -hmm. or after a period of time, the station should destroy itself. Oh, and. Once, once it's uh, once it's destroyed, a new little pod will appear, and then you just have to find new. Uh huh. And then you have to survive five turns without being without being able to hide. That is kind of annoying. The uh, not being able to hide bit. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Otherwise, it'd be too easy to win. You just load up on um, on countermeasures and just spend five turns hiding at, at zero uh, zero signature. Excuse me. <coughs> I don't know. I like the idea of zero stealthiness, but I. I don't kind of understand the whole thing, so we'll be fine. Oh, action again. Uh, what's the turn limit actually? Is there a turn limit? What do you mean, the number of turns? Yes. Hey, before it's over? Yep. Uh, in, in online games, no, there's no turn limit. Do I want to do that? No, I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> that might be a bit risky. Do it, it'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you can see now that the, uh, that the station's disappeared and the pod disappeared. Oh, no, I didn't notice that. Is there a... If you, if you look right... Huh. Oh, yeah. sorry, uh, yeah, press capital R and... Yeah, or just... There's also the little, uh, under the turn number, there's a little replay uh, button as well. Handy. Well, <laughs> I've actually survived longer against you than against the AI. 
Um, um, those goods, yeah, yeah. That's what you say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't know, you're being easy on me. We, we get that. Um, I'm not being easy on you. You don't need to worry about that. I'm, a, um, I guess I'm just being very certain. Uh, uh, is there uh, an AI difficulty kind of settings or? Yeah, there, well, in, in, in the skirmish there is. Uh -huh. uh, you can set hard AI. And that, what that does is at the moment the AI, uh, if you're playing against multiple ships, each ship uh, basically plays by itself oh. um, and doesn't try to team up on you. Yeah. But if you turn hard AI on, then cruisers, destroyers, corvettes and frigates uh, going down in that order mm. will try to take command of the other ships and uh, get them to team up on you. So they'll try and do things like surround you or send in a ship with, uh, send in a ship with low... Uh, uh, those signatures of scouts. Those signature, yeah. yeah, that sort of thing. And, and if you disappear, they'll actually search you down. Whereas in normal uh, AI, they'll just they'll just go, "Oh, he's gone. Let's not worry about that anymore." That's handy. But yeah, the, uh, the the normal AI in, in, like, in the campaign will, if you disappear completely from their senses for that turn, they will just essentially forget you exist. I think this is this is it now. Yeah. Oh god, it might be a draw. I've made a mistake. What? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> no, I think I think we're going to draw. Ah, <laughs> I was too busy talking. I've made a mistake, and you can draw me now. I didn't follow the, the, the basic rule of concealed intent. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> uh, what is that? Uh, that your ship is far more important than your drones. So do your fighting with your drones and keep your drones near your enemy and your ship a long way from your enemy. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. We get attached to them. Uh, yes. So, did you go as a red as a red frigate or a red corvette? Uh, no, I didn't go red in the end because you were red, so uh -huh. I went grey. Well, I'm just noticing that the little drones are also the same colour as you. Does, yes. So my drones should be red as well then. Yes. Aha! Uh -huh. If I had drones. Yes, they should be red. Any, anything you launch should be the same color as uh, as your ship. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the defeat. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Well, mine says defeat too. Yeah. <laughs> that, we I'm both just, lost. That's actually pretty good. Well done. Well done. What's the uh, result tabs probably tells you if you do win, what you killed and what survived, right? Uh, no, no, just what, what the result tab is actually what you're looking at right now. Huh, okay. You can tick the result tab off. Yes, and it just disappears. Because it, you, it, you can replace it with feedback, or in other places you can replace it with options and things like that. It's rather handy. And so neither of us achieved <laughs> any bars. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's a bit hard. I might have to change that. To get the third bar, you have to achieve victory without taking any damage. That's pretty close to impossible. I might uh, write a note to make that easier. Does that include drones and things as well? Yeah, it does. Oh, bloody hell. <sighs> that, that is well, a dick. Is that? That's too hard. Yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah. I, you know, you should put an achievement on just to see if somebody does get it. <laughs> like a complete a victory without losing any health at all. The thing is that people will uh, people can fix that, can't they? They could play against someone, and that person could just sit and do nothing. Yeah, I'd like to think that people don't yeah. do that. It's kind of nice. <laughs> um, no, one more game. Okay. Okay. Um, Shall I send you? All okay. right. I'll um, hang on. Go back to the menu.
Actually, is the music yours as well, or is that somebody else's? The music I bought off uh, of an asset store. It was a, a pack of space-themed music, uh -huh. uh, and then I took a couple of the more uh, less energetic songs, and yeah. then I also took some of the more energetic songs. Uh, I took parts out because they provided stems, so you could take out the, like, the heavy drums. Mm. So it's just like this sort of me the melody or the sort of atmospheric bit of those songs. Yeah, so that's that's all by someone professional. I'm really bad at music. But some of the effects is mine. Some of the effects I did, and um, so it's, it's you can tell the bits that I've done because they're the bits that people complain about. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Uh, they say some of the music's okay. Some of, some of the sound effects are a bit weird, and then they'll say, you know, this sound effect. Go, oh, that's the one I did. <laughs> So if I look on old games, yeah, defeat against Friday Friday Biology in turn thirteen. Hat, where is that? If you go to the online section, yep. If you go to the online page, uh, and it, where you um, where it, you, you click the button to challenge your friend, it says current games, and bottom it says old games. Hang on, uh, I'm going to restart actually. Uh, for some reason. The it didn't come up. What didn't come up? The online bit. I was picking out little moduli bits for an online Ooh. game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So did, I've got you need to click later. If you're in the middle of that, then you need to click later, and you can come back to it later. Uh, that's that's actually kind of cool. Last ninety days. Defeat against Jarotech in fourteen turns. <laughs> Let's see if we can improve that. Uh, <laughs> and I should actually I should write a note that um, draws should display as draws not defeats mm. okay the problem being that uh, I think I think you're the first game I've drawn <laughs> <laughs> you kind of want to point that out uh Okay, no, I need defense. Okay, let's try. I'm going to try a completely different build here. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, I'm just, uh,. Going, um... uh, will there be two Corvettes versus two Corvettes later on, or just one cor one playing with something and one playing with something? Oh, you mean allowing the player to have uh, online games with multiple ships? Yes. Each? Again, that is possible. I mean, there's it's the the, the server is quite. Uh, is quite um, I don't know how to put it uh, flexible in that it doesn't make any assumptions. It, yeah. The place where the assumptions are made is actually in the uh, in the client what we're playing with. Yeah, and uh, so it's just a matter of testing it and working out a way, a way to put it into the GUI because the, the GUI is actually the thing that I find hardest to do, mm. um, not the server stuff because I'm not a uh, I've never really done good work before. Okay. But uh, yeah, it's, it's completely possible. And if there's, if it's the sort of thing that people want, um, then I'll certainly look at it. I'm going to do, there'll definitely be a 1.1 release. Hopefully in October, maybe in, maybe in November. So there'll definitely be uh, a bunch of updates. And some of that will be looking at putting in new features. Uh, and after that, it depends on how things go and and what needs to be done. Okay. So I'm going to try completely different tactics this time. <laughs> okay. I'm 
just trying to figure out what I'm actually going to be doing. I thought there'd be large chunks of rock and stuff, but... Oh, this is the, uh, this is the broken planet. Yes. Yes. Yes, this map's, this map's changed a bit. This this map used to be a very uh, very dangerous map because it wasn't a big broken planet. It was a um, it, there was supposed to be uh, radiation from the from the sun. That the, the star should be a big red star. Yeah, uh, and the idea was that it was aging and throwing off lots of radiation, and um, as a result, tearing apart the the, the, the its planets. But uh, I took the radiation out because it caused it caused a lot of problems. People would just uh, die for because what what it did was it did damage to you every turn, regardless of what you were doing. So it basically put a time limit on the game. Yeah. And people really didn't like that. Okay. Bloody hell. Um. Is there a problem? Sorry? Sorry, is there a problem? Um, I oh, know. I just watched the replays. Uh, both of your unknowns just kind of decided to multiply again. <laughs> uh, you saw two and now you see four. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought I had it. It's like, yeah, we'll just watch the one which doesn't multiply and we'll be good, right? Yep. Didn't work. I can't undo waiting. That's... Uh, no, no. Once you've submitted your turns, that's it. Yeah. Because they, otherwise, there could be a uh, a problem with timing on the server. If you both decide to change at the same time. Yeah. Or you it was, you send a change, but before you sent a change, they've submitted their turn. Oh, you're a prick. <laughs> <laughs> you're such a prick. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Um. Stop running away. Yeah. <laughs> <Come back. laughs> I, I, I had it. It was right there. And then it turned out that it's at the core station, which. Yeah. Okay. Another drone just appeared out of nowhere. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, oh, thought I had you there for a second, but then I rotated the view, and you're still still a bit too far away. Haha! Uh -huh, but you got no line of sight on me. <laughs> <laughs> have you? Can you tell which one's my ship yet? Uh, possibly. I'm hoping that it's that one. Um, though I'm wondering how I'm going to get there without, of course, becoming in line of sight of both of yours. <sighs> Unless, of course, you've got another one. Possibly. It kind of 
interesting to see this thing weave through the rocks though. Well, you're going to know which one's my ship now. Uh, In a second. Uh, <laughs> we'll see why. I don't know if you've seen this weapon before. Okay. Nice. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. To zoom in real close. This is going to be some. <laughs> this is going to be some close in flying. Uh, I've got a theory. I just hope it works. Yeah, I'm. I'm in a bad way right now. I don't know if you might not. Uh... Well, health. Your health would show up because you're in range, right? Uh, if you've got a full ID on me. Yeah. Then, yes, my health will show up. Multi-phase thingamabob, shielding and armor. Yes, multi, multi-pulse. If you want, if you want to look at, hover over that and see the damage it does. Yeah. It, but it's very short. It's also very short range. So I need to get as far as far as possible. You know the problem though. I've already pressed the button, so I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> oh That's bloody hell. That's okay, I pressed the button just then too, so the fact you said that hasn't, uh, hasn't helped me. Oh, go. Okay, that's gone. No line of sight. Ah. 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 No, 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 no. I think you have an advantage now. Possibly. Uh. Okay, let's try this. Ah, I should have loaded the repairer. I was like hovering, should I take another shield or should I take a repairer? I wasn't sure, I should have taken a repairer. Yeah, uh, I have a little Corvette thing, pet, animal, I don't know what it is, rotating around my corvette. Yeah, that's a decoy. Oh, okay. Fuck, okay, yep. <laughs> so you'll get a little bloopy bloop on your screen. Sorry? You'll get a small little unknown thing there as well, or...? No, I won't. Co uh, countermeasures is not shown to the other player. So whatever you do countermeasures-wise, I don't see. Uh -huh. And it's... The decoy only activated all of them, for the turn, Sorry? or what? Is the Sorry? decoy only activated for the turn, or yes, yes? So it affects your signature for the current turn, uh -huh. and then it's gone, single use. Okay. I was actually hoping that you'd do something like that. That was that was really my only hope. That uh, you use up all your um, all your countermeasures. Because the idea being that uh, right now, I mean, I've got a a short range tank, and you've got a long range sniper. And I have no countermeasures, and I'm noisy, and you have countermeasures. So all you have to do to win is stay at a long range away from me, and you should be able to um, you should be able to uh, take me out. Yeah. Um, and so, and my what I have to do is get as close to you as possible because I can one shot you with these guns. That's Should've the benefit. <laughs> That's the benefit of this build. If I if I can get within here, yeah, let me look it up. If I can get within about a thousand kilometers of you, then I can one shot you. But you're going to need to hit me twice. No, three times. Okay. You've yeah. only got, I've got shielding. So you've only got the heavy beam, right? Yeah. Yeah. So your heavy beam is going to do 
as, as long as you're in closest range, your heavy beam is going to do three points of damage a time. So you need to hit me three times. And I need to get close enough to hit you once. The problem being I have to get very close and you have to uh, not get so close. Alternatively, actually having said that, I could I could go and pick up the pod and run away. Yeah. That's the other option. Are you still waiting? Uh, no, oh, I just clicked then. Ah. I had I had some plans in and then I changed my plans and then clicked it, so I was a bit slow. You can see it. I imagine you can now work out at what point I was changing my plans. <laughs> yeah, there's something about <laughs> pods or something. Uh, that's 4,300. See, at 4,300, you're probably not going to damage me. Yeah. <clears throat> you need to do at least three points of damage to do one point against me because of my shields. Yeah. Uh, I think we need to wrap it up anyway. Uh, Okay. We should be good. We'll quickly wait right, till I'll, the station I'll destroys. Okay, what I'll do is hang on. Oh, I've always submitted my turn, but I'll come and charge you. <laughs> I was going to do a sort of very uh, long term thing. I see, because I now have the core. So in five turns, yeah, I'm going to. Um, you'd run straight into those rocks and you'd be sorted. Exactly, but I'm not going to do that because that would take five turns. Instead, what I'm going to do is charge you. Uh, that's okay. So we, can get it, so we can get it over quickly. Uh, decent game, though. Sorry? Uh, it's a decent game. Like You could have multiple guys. Uh, just two guys who gradually figure out what the other guy has. And Yeah, exactly. It's As, a, as another reviewer uh, said, it's a game that Rewards careful planning. Yeah, until everything goes to hell and <laughs> uh, it'll be okay. Will these chuff flares do anything against your phase of thing? Nope. They just lower your signature. Uh -huh. uh, physical kit, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so my, my habit when I'm playing, except when I'm doing the playtest, is to take some time. So I'm just I'm doing it as quickly as I can now. <laughs> That's okay. I think I just survived one of your hits, though. I thought you were going to turn into me. Yeah. <laughs> so did I. Um... It looked it looked for a second like you were coming to, like we were going to end up close, but no, no luck. What range are you at? Sorry? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm talking to myself. I was wondering what range you're at. Oh, uh... Yeah, 2,000-ish? 2,000, yeah, so you should get a bit of damage against me this time. Yeah. I'm doing damage against you, but it's way too slow. But I might win, actually, because you're not going to be able to... Um, I kill you. <laughs> not in time. It's still possible, you can still win this. If you yeah. hit me twice more, then you'll still get me. Am I actually in range of your gun, though? Oh, I think I'm doing one point of damage against you, one or zero. You're, you are now in range. This is going to be another draw. <laughs> I've, just, I've just set up the plan, and I'm doing 18 points of damage to you. Oh, bloody hell. So if you hit me, yeah, you're close enough to do three points of damage to me, so we're drawing again. Yeah. <laughs> so you lasted longer than last time. Yeah, uh, we're improving. Oh. <laughs> uh, and no chevrons, though, unfortunately. Uh, what's the first and second chevron? The first chevron is win. Uh -huh. uh, the second chevron is win uh, without losing any drones. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think I'll definitely sacrifice drones though. Uh, either I need to go. Uh, I next for the game. Yeah.
and I will see you later on, okay? I think we dropped. Oh.